guys i have finally found it i have found the most powerful the most user friendly and the most diverse image generation ai in 2024 it used to be mid journey at one point of time then came flux it dethroned it and then finally we have recraft ai so what can it do first of all for the starters these are some of the images that i created for my b rolls in my reels so what you see here is a consistent style and a color and this is something that it can do it has a lot of different styles that you can basically pick and apply i think this is already good enough but every day they are adding more and more styles like this did not exist a while back and now suddenly it's here right so it's just crazy how many styles they're adding so this is one thing you can also add your own palette color palette or generate random color palettes and then create this i am creating this using my own color palette so you can go here add your colors here and then start generating and you will create very consistent illustrations and you would be very professional in your whatever work that you're doing the next thing is like i told you there are so many you know different styles that exist here right and you would be surprised to know that let's say i, I pick this okay i'll simply copy it i'll take it to figma and i take it here and I paste it all right do you see that i can actually individually select all these vectors because this is actually a vector all right so which means if i enlarge it it's not going to actually become pixelated one thing the other thing is i can select the colors and change it so this is like crazy right so this actually does not only create raster images but also creates vector images as well now it does not apply to all styles certain styles are not vector based for example i think this is not vector if you look here look this one it says vectorize means this is not a vector you can vectorize it if you want so this is super crazy next come to realism this scores very high on realism so there are multiple scales that look at different types of prompt again that prompt that i have used here is not that great for at least realism but from certain points you can see that this is very real in nature because it kind of produces how our phones produce it slightly over sharpened and stuff like that now of course it can produce dslr also if you prompt it i did not produce or i did not write the script like that so it did not produce it like this but you can see that it does not have the mid journey kind of realism which is slightly more punchy and the colors are slightly cinematic and all and also you can increase the size of this images for example you can basically upscale them four times with just one credit and the mind blowing part is you get 50 credits every day 50 free credits every day that's like crazy no other ai tool actually gives you so much freedom to explore right again this is new so they are giving 50 credits and if you sign up with the link that i am giving you in the description you would get 200 credits so please go ahead and use that link and get 200 credits for free and after that every day you will be getting 50 50 credits so please go ahead and use all that up now what else can it do it can actually create multiple magical stuff right first of all it can actually write text as well it actually does a good job of hand okay that's one thing the second thing is it can also write for example look at the prompt here right on this one this one i had also done one more thing which is you see this is the original image i can actually use a lasso and what i've done is i have actually changed the prompt and i have actually made some changes here right now how do you do that you basically select any image use this tool so it will show you how to do it basically select the image draw around wherever you want to make some changes let's just use it here right let's use lasso let's see how that plays out i've said two images this does not matter but let's see what does it do and again the speed of this image generation is also decent i won't say it is super fast but also it is not super slow at least at this point of time it is decent okay so we'll come to that while it is taking some time and this is again something that i love about it because while this action is taking place i can just move around and show you other parts or i can start creating other things as well so let me create a thing called as mock okay so let's create man wearing a t-shirt let's say i want to design a t-shirt and show it to my client that okay this is how your t-shirt is going to look like 
और वूमन लेट्स से वूमन एज थर्टी टू इंडियन वूमन मे बी इंडियन वूमन एज थर्टी टू वेरिंग अ टी शर्ट लेट्स सी वॉट डज इट प्रोड्यूस मे बी वी वॉन्ट इट फॉर रील इट सो विल मेक इन नाइन इज सिक्सटीन इफ इट वॉज फॉर यूट्यूब वी कूड हैव डन इट समथिंग लाइक सिक्सटीन इज टू नाइन फोर इज टू थ्री थ्री इज टू टू समथिंग लाइक दैट इट विल यूज दिस वन ओके एंड री क्राफ्ट विल सी वॉट इट प्रोड्यूस ओके वॉट वॉज द प्रॉम्प्ट द प्रॉम्प्ट वॉज अ ग्रीन क्राउन ऑन बोथ द हेड्स इट प्रोड्यूस्ड something i don't know how great that is but yeah it did produce something it changed the nose it created an issue but yeah you can play around with it and figure out where you need it and where you don't need it all right so this is here interesting let's let's put an image on top of it let me bring a image from is it is this a png all right copy image let's put it inside me paste here oh, what the fuck uh, let me take it from here copy image okay this is pasted here i don't know at that time why it did not take it and i move it here okay if i make it smaller can you see how it is mocking how it is reacting to the mock basically right can you see this it's pretty crazy right so you just have created a mock right this is something that we used to pay so much money like 1200 999 rupees and all of that to get these kind of photoshop mockups now you get it done by ai like you can basically tell okay what will that person look like where is it set up how are they posed and all of that you can give for the character or even for not cat like you can write a cup of coffee and then you can put a logo let me actually write a cup of coffee let's so let's create another one and by the way this you can delete i don't know what this does you can figure out but yeah cup of coffee in indian railway station in bombay let's say let's see and what we can do is we can actually bring this one and see if it's going to be any useful while that is getting created let's explore something else let's explore frames okay so this is a frame what i can do is i can maybe bring in this image okay all right i think i messed it up all right this looks good let me actually write a text because what i'm planning to do is i'm planning to create a poster okay let's call the poster as depression okay and let's give this prompt a cinematic Static poster for movie called Depression. Let's see what it produces. Okay. Meanwhile, let's look at what this guy has produced. What the fuck is this? Okay. This looks good. So far, so good. This. Okay. Oh, it goes onto the platform as well. Means the entire effing image has. Just a second. What is this? That's fine. The entire image has your displacement map. This is. crazy right i didn't know this by the way <laughs> that the entire image has displacement mapping okay okay all right all right that's it that's it this is crazy right by the way i told you about realism right look at how real it looks okay don't go go into the details like if you go into the details of this then you would see random stuff but just from a 3 second point of view right if you look at it for 3 seconds you just can't tell that is it real or is it ai generated right So this is first of all crazy okay and then let's look at what we did with frames so this is what it created okay it i basically wrote it and then it understood okay this is something that needs to you know cater to the image that is below it so it understood its surrounding and created this text at least the text effect based on it right so again uh, super useful right if you want to basically merge multiple things together right i have not again used the full potential of it what you can do is probably you can put in a bunch of different images together and then write prompt and then it can produce some random stuff right so not sure but these are some of the things that it can produce or you know give you out of the box i'm pretty sure in future they are going to produce more and more stuff like this but this is super good by the way i was thinking to do side by side you know comparison between flux and this but what i've realized is when flux was released you could have found using flux in multiple different platform for free or at least freemium model for example they used to give at least 20 odd generation credit on their website now it has certainly reduced to a very small amount right so what i want you to do is i want you to explore this tool as soon as possible this is like figma but you need to explore this tool as soon as possible and 
if you feel that 50 credit is not enough there are multiple ways to you know get ahead with it for example you can use different email ids get more credits or you can actually click on the link in the description and get about what 200 credits for free randomly and if you join using my link then i'll also get 200 credits it is just i'm just acting like an affiliate because i'm just mind blown by this tool nobody is paying me for this yet but i would like if somebody pays me for these tutorials but you get the idea right by the way you can also share the entire board with another person right i told you it's like figma and other people can actually come in and jam here and they can also contribute to your ideas right so all in all this is like super super crazy in fact you can do many other things as well for example you can do what is called as fine tuning so it is basically you can use a particular image as a reference to generate another image so that you can do you can do what is known as variations so if i choose this and if i say i want a squarer version and say generate variants look what it creates i also don't know what it will create but let's see by the way can you see at the bottom it shows two things so if i click this if i click this it creates another item here right now why did it do it see here when we generated we said two images right so what it has done is inside the same image it has retained two three items i would have actually liked if it at the top showed a small icon and showed like three like how we see it in figma but this is how because if i don't select it i don't know how many images are inside it right so i think that's a ux change they would do as soon as possible but you can see this is what it created another version is this from this guy right so pretty pretty interesting right and i can change colors i can manage colors i can vectorize i can rasterize i can make posters i can enlarge and so many other things i can do right so to me this is like by far the most user friendly the most powerful image generation ai so please kindly use this when it is freemium because tomorrow if it is not freemium then we don't know <laughs> so that's it that's it for this video man i mean mind blown